Yeah. Ray, the big shift in the NHL yesterday is being talked about as the shift. What did you make of it, and where do you think it goes from here? Pierre-Luc Dubois in, in Columbus. Yeah. Well, I, I had a lot of bad shifts. I don't think I had many that looked <laughs> like that. Um, didn't look like he was giving it the old college try, I got to say there. Like, that was... That looked like Beer League Thursday, 935 start. Hayes hates it. He's just he's just appalled by because it. Because I actually play like that. That's me <laughs> at, at midnight at Chesswood. And I've had four beers before the game, and I'm like, I'm not stopping and starting once tonight. I'm going to set a new record. And okay, so, so you can pick on whose side you are, but I, I get it from – like, okay, clearly the relationship <laughs> is, is separate. That's not happening anymore. No. And so, but Tortorella can't keep putting him on the ice if he's not going to try. No, he's got to stay home, gotta Ray. Be, he's got to stay yeah, home. Yes, he's got to be accountable to the, John Duds, to the 17 other guys that are out there trying to stay in the league. So this guy's got 11 or 12 or 15 teams that are, you know, falling over themselves to go and acquire them. And a lot of guys are just happy to have one team that, you know, like we didn't have that kind of pull, right? Like I just was happy someone wanted me to play today. And so I, I I don't know how that trade gets made guys that Columbus comes out feeling whole because I, you know, I I saw LeBron's story said 11 teams called, uh, Yarmo Kekalainen today. I'm sure they were really offering great packages up for him, right? Like, yeah. can you imagine those offers? I got a fourth liner and a couple of second round picks for you. How's that? The yeah. Vultures will be out. And the thing is, he's a really good player, as you know, Ray. I'm not yeah. telling you anything you don't yeah. know. He's a very good player. But um, I, I, I used the James Harden analogy that we we hammered away at for weeks, where we said this guy's sabotaging his own team. Yes, he's dragging his ass around trying to get out there, and I didn't like it. I didn't like the way Harden acted, and and quite frankly, this looks even worse to me because he's doing it during the game. Harden just didn't show up at camp on time. He'd be at the club. He's out of shape, but when the ball went up, he played. Dude, he had one bad shift. Harden was in Vegas in Atlanta, and he was at peeler joints. He didn't have one bad shift. Tortorella's admitted. the guys. It's been five games where it doesn't look right. Yeah, that's the one thing I would say. Sorry to interrupt, Brian, is that, you know, somebody should go back. If you want to really dive into this, you should go back. We should go back and look at all of his shifts and say, is is this? No, I know. But what I'm saying is you you want to do a deep dive and, and see if there has been a steady decline. That's the quickest way to do it is look at how hard this guy's played. Because and we know he we wants sit- out, and that right. one shift is – it screams at you. I hear what you're saying, right. oh, it's one shift, but it is a, it's an awful shift. Yeah. Like, it's just – it's a it's lazy, and it's – I don't care that I'm playing oh, in the I'm NHL. If I'm Pat I'm telling him go home and don't come back because it's just not doing anything. It's an ugly look, and yeah. it kills – it should hurt his reputation. It doesn't have to for the rest of his career. Yeah, what if a great destination in the league like a, an Anaheim looks at that shift and says, well, we're out of that. We don't want any part of that. You're just – too many people are putting eyes on that. It's not like <laughs> – you know like my favorite part ago. of that shift was? You know what my favorite part of that sh- or that whole thing was? When they showed him guys on the bench and he had both gloves off picking at his fingernails. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, he might as well be at a coffee shop.